What is going on my YouTube friends? Guys, I apologize. I haven't made a video in a few days. I've been busy around the house. I had to change the faucet in my shower. I had to change the faucet on the sink in my bathroom. Uh, they were leaking pretty bad. Um, I never really paid much attention. My wife brought it to my attention. You know, I go in there and do what I got to do and walk out of there. I don't sit there and watch that stuff. But anyhow, so the shower, um, had to take all that apart, sweat everything back in, got all that taken care of, and the bathroom was pretty much plug and play, or this bathroom sink, that was. So I changed both faucets, and now we don't have any more leaks. So our water bill should go, because, you know, she told me about the leak in the, in the sink, and I'm like, I mean, it ain't leaking that bad. She goes, it's leaking bad. She goes, let's go in there and plug it up and see how long it takes to fill that sink up. So I went there and plugged it up. A couple hours later, I walked back in there. Sure enough, that sink was, uh, yeah, it was half full. So anyhow, well, no, it was more than half full, actually. But uh, <laughs> so I changed both faucets. I got everything going. Everything's going. No more leaks. Hope it stays that way. Um, the fence, we got that painted. The back deck, we got that painted. Um, things going on at the junkyard. Um, I'll tell you what's going on, but then I'll make a whole different video and let the junkyard channel and make a video for that too. So, but anyhow, um, at the junkyard, I've got to go through the C of O stuff. So I'm getting all that done. They got to do their inspection and stuff like that. So I've had the building, the electric, they've been over there. They signed off on it. That's good. Next Friday, I have the fire inspection that's coming. So Hope that right there gets passed. Uh, if not, he'll tell me what I need to do. I'll go ahead and take care of whatever needs to be taken care of, and then we'll get that taken care of. So, so anyhow, with uh, Lee's Auto Parts, I'm hoping to, I'm hoping in a couple months, man, we'll get this thing up and running. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm really been pounding on it. So, uh, I want to get, it I want to get it done. You know, and my dad's, he's, he's getting all excited and running around saying praise the Lord. And I'm like, hold on, buddy. We ain't there yet. <laughs> so uh, they snuck in on me for the inspection for the building and electric. Um, they weren't supposed to be there until next Friday, too. And uh, they popped in unexpected and, and, and talked with my dad. But everything went good. So we're good. <laughs> Matter of fact, the guy that inspected electricity, he's when it okay that we had the electricity turned back on few months back <clears throat> which I think was last winter and uh god I've done so much and time's gone by so far it's hard to believe what's going on it's hard you know the time frames is just went <clears throat> <clears throat> so anyhow excuse me um it's a beautiful day it's a little cool here I think it's only like 62 degrees but that's okay it's my kind of weather but one thing I hate about this time of year all those leaves fall off these daggone trees and they get blowed right into my garage. They get blown right into my garage. I said, blowed. <laughs> you dirty minded son of a guns. But anyhow, they get blown right inside my garage. And I got to take the thing, I got to blow them all out of here and hurry up and shut the garage door. Oh, what a pain in the butt. But hey, we'll survive. We do every year, right? Anyhow, so let me show you what I got done on the Mustang today, which wasn't much because I was working on the bathroom. Then I took a little nap. Then I come out here. And yes, I do have to work tonight. So, But I am taking tomorrow night off. Oh, yes, because tomorrow is my birthday. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm getting old. <laughs> we'll talk about that another time. So anyhow, let's turn this around and see what we got going As on. As you can see, the 2010, I have plastic over the window because I have the window out of it. I took the window motor out. I ordered one. I got sent the wrong window motor. Okay, so I got to get it sent back and get the right window motor. So right now I have a plastic bag and I have it taped down. So yeah, the old hillbilly said in me and I, uh -huh, yeah, the hillbilly way, buddy. <laughs> so, but I, I mean, I'm going to have another window motor coming for that. And it's not that bad of a job. So I'll bring you back another day for that. But let's see what we got here. Done with the 92 GT. So I went up to National Parts Depot yesterday and I picked up a coolant reservoir. Okay, the overflow. Because I kept having, on, on the dash lights, I keep having a low coolant light. So um, <clears throat> I went up there and I picked this up and I think it was like 30 some dollars, $33 or something like that. And uh, so I got that on. And I poured some coolant in there, put the top 
put the lid and everything on there, sit the sensor down in there. So I no more have a little coolant light, so that's good. So now all I got now is the engine light still on, and I have a pretty good feeling I know why that is, because this is the O2 sensor plug. Yeah, wouldn't you think? <laughs> so I got to get another O2 sensor, which I haven't got yet. Um, and then I had this right here, which is the windshield wiper, washer, windshield washer fluid. Uh, I went ahead and put this on, and I still got to get motored and everything for it. So just a few things i done today, just trying to get things done. And uh, we're going to take, we got a storage place for the wife Shelby. Um, I was going to go ahead and buy one of those Amish garages, you know. But I got to thinking, no, man, I'd rather spend the money on a pole barn. And I'm going to have to get some money together for that. So when we do pull the um, the Shelby out to take it for storage, then I'm going to take the Fairmont and I'm going to slide it in over there where the Shelby's at. Hopefully we don't get no big snow and it don't fall over or nothing. But that way it'll give me my enough room to go ahead and finish up what I'm doing here on the GT. And then when I get the GT done... And rolling, I'll take and uh, pull the Fairmont back in here, put the GT over there, and then we'll go to work on the, on the Fairmont. So right now with the Fairmont, I'm just giving you a bunch of updates today because I haven't made a video in a couple days. Um, that's the rear end. Got the 9-inch ends. I got to order the axles, which I have to... Doo -doo -doo -doo, there it is. I have to measure from here to here and from here to here so I can get the right axle length. And to top it off, I gotta know what kind of brakes I'm putting on there, which I know I'm going with disc. So I gotta figure out which disc brakes I'm putting on there so that way I can add that. Cause you know, most time it's four, just like two and a half uh, space between the hub of the axle and the end of the axle housing. Since I put nine inch ends on here, that's changed. So, or the length has changed. Not by much, because it's still almost 54, so it's still pretty close to being stock. But it is a tiny bit difference. And when I talked to the guy at Strange, he told me that um, it's really not going to make that much of a difference because if it's like a quarter off or something like that. So, anyhow, once I get that done, and then I'm going to get through it and have it all put together. Uh, I have a guy that used to work for Ray, Rider Racing. And uh, he's going to put the rear end together for me. This guy's, he's good. He did the rear end in my uh, 1990 notchback I used to have. And he's going to do this. I've already ordered the gears. I got everything for it, except for the axles and the brake assembly. So once I get the axles and the brake assembly, it's off to his place. To let him go ahead and get her done for me. And it's going to be so pretty. Yeah, buddy. And it's going to look so good in the bag of that So once I get the rear end and everything, and put this, everything on near the shocks, um, for hook up everything and then i'll go ahead and i'll put everything in the front and then put the rotors and everything on here and then i'll get this sit on the ground and then we will go to work on the fairmont so yeah we've been painting and been busy on the house now it's getting there we got to get all these leaves and everything picked up because they're all going to blow right into my garage yeah buddy so anyhow we got the window and motor going to be coming for this like i said i already had one pulled this one out it was the wrong one so we had to bag it so we don't get no water in there because it's gonna it's gonna start raining. It rained the other day, so and it bag held pretty good. So I'm happy. I'm happy. Don't take much to make me happy, does it? So anyhow, on the 92 GT, I got a couple things accomplished. Guys, I'm putting this car together. It's gonna come back apart. It's gonna come back apart so we can make everything perfect. You know, we're gonna pull it out, we're gonna paint the engine compartment, we're gonna do everything. We're gonna make the car as good or better as it did when it came out of the factory. So, let me turn this back around here. So, anyhow, um, once we get her car put into storage, a lot that we're taking it to, uh, a couple of guys run this thing and they're cool. We had a car stored with them before. So, they only charge like 85 bucks a month, which is a good deal with a heated garage. Can't beat that, you know what I'm saying? Um, they really don't do it. They just do it to try to get the taxes paid and stuff like that. Real nice guys, little car group, a bunch of old guys, you know, got some cool cars, boats, you know, etc. And they value cars, man. They love cars. So can't ask, ask for better than that. So anyhow, 
I think last year we paid one hundred and five dollars a month. So this is going to be a lot, but in a in a brick garage, you know what I'm saying? A brick garage, big, huge, giant brick building. Uh, <laughs> so anyhow, um, I just figured I'd give you some updates. What's going on? I've been busy, guys. I'm sorry. I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching. Um, without you, there's no use making these videos, right? So, hey, I want you guys to have the rest of a great day. And uh, I got to go to work. So it's kind of like my Monday. Uh -huh. All right, guys, have a good one. I'll talk to you soon.